You heard me, all the mods. Well, almost all of them. Most of them. You'll see. Number one, the Godzilla Side Armor by Stern. This mod really stands out when you first glance at the machine. It's Godzilla, it's gotta look aggressive, and the side armor does just that. To make it even more awesome, it's got really cool custom paint that's slightly textured to appear like Godzilla's skin. Oh, and it also protects the pinball machine from minor bumps and bruises, but let's be honest, it's just here to look sexy. Number two. The rest of the machine is also custom powder coated in this awesome green texture. Everything from the pinball legs, to the side rails, to the lock bar, the coin door, and even the back box. Number three. This mod is by Speaker Light Kits. I love this mod and I've done it to all four of the Stern machines I've owned. If you don't know, Pro and Premium models come with 4-inch stock speakers. They're pretty basic, they sound decent, but why do we mod? We mod to make things better. So this mod changes the speaker size from 4 inches found on the Pro and Premium to 5 and a quarter inches that are found on the limited edition Stern machines. So you get a sound upgrade with the Kenwood speakers and some awesome lighting effects to really make your machine pop. Note, you can put any 5 and a quarter inch speaker in here as long as it fits. I'm using the Kenwood speakers that are the same ones that Stern uses in the limited edition machines. Oh, and I almost forgot, you can get this cool placard that's acrylic to match your speakers too. Just something cool to make your badges stand out. And keep in mind the speakers are not included in this kit, so you'll have to get those separately. Number 4. The Godzilla Shooter Knob from Stern. I was torn about this one because I already had the original one powder coated, but I couldn't resist. Also, I have a custom shooter knob on my Stranger Things, so I kinda had to do it, right? Number 5. The Oxygen Destroyer Mod by High End Mods. This thing is quality in and out. It's handcrafted and made with real solid chrome-plated metal. It's interactive and lights green when the right outlane Oxygen Destroyer insert is lit, as well as various other times throughout the game. This mod is awesome and a must-have in my opinion. Number 6. The Lolly UFO Mod by Stumbler Pinball. This thing is super cool. This mod interacts with the game. When you hit the pop bumper, the UFO lights up. It's easy to install, the quality is great, and it's a nice upgrade over the stock UFO. Number 7. Another one from Stumbler Pinball. This is the Tokyo Neon Sign. This sign is fully integrated and animated 3D Tokyo style RGB neon sign. It replaces the existing scoop sign that's on this machine. The thing looks beautiful and it's one of my favorite mods. It's fully configurable via Wi-Fi. It's got several light patterns and it's just sexy. And it adds a killer element to the game as it truly looks like a neon sign. It's difficult to get and it's currently back ordered as of the filming of this video. If you're interested, sign up on their list because these go fast and you never know how long they're gonna make them. Number eight. The Mecha Godzilla Interactive Shield Mod. This mod interacts with the game and replaces the stock plastics on the left and right side of the Mecha Godzilla spinner. This mod is relatively easy to install and I think it's a nice complement to Mecha Godzilla, as the mod more closely matches the texture and look of Mecha Godzilla. And the RGB light is a nice touch because everything looks better lit up, right? Number 9. The Nagali Oil Building. This mod by Diddy Mods Pinball adds some flair to the left side of the game by adding a cool building that the ball travels through after going over the bridge. The mod does illuminate utilizing the general illumination of the game. It also has a really cool style to it that completely fits the theme of the game and it's believable that it's a building straight out of Tokyo. The building also stays lit with a cool red glow that's controlled by the red GI. Number 10. I'm lumping all these mods together. They're all from Mezzle Mods and they're a huge upgrade from the stock buildings featured on the back of the machine. The first one is the subway building with upgraded sign. The second is the theater building. And the third is the noodle building. I can't stress enough how cool these look. It adds a more polished look to the back of the machine in my opinion. They all plug into the stock wiring so you don't lose any functionality of the building lights or LED indicators. Number 11, Interactive Tesla Coils from Mezzle Mods. 
These coils are connected to the middle spinner flasher and activate whenever the spinner is hit or the flasher is lit. This is probably my least favorite of the mods I installed in this machine, and it's not because of the quality of the mods or anything like that. But I recently saw the Diddy's Tesla Strike Towers, and I fell in love with them. So like the sucker that I am, I'm replacing these with those ASAP. Nothing against bezel mods, but Diddy knocked theirs out of the park. Sorry guys, you can't win them all. Number 12. I really, really love this mod. It's a very close second to the Tokyo sign, but the Atomic Godzilla by Mojo's Mods is freaking epic. When the ball hits the Magna Grab, Godzilla gives you a really cool light show on his spine. It also does a few small interactions with the game, but it just fills the space so much better than the stock Godzilla that comes with the game. It feels like this is the size it should have been. No knock on Stern, but this mod feels right at home here in the back of the playfield. Number 13. This is the Boom Boom 3000. <laughs> yeah, that's really the name of it. The Boom Boom 3000 subwoofer. This is an awesome upgrade over the stock Stern subwoofer. It's plug and play with a wire harness already soldered onto it so it can easily plug right into the stock wiring harness. Please note that in order for this to operate properly, you will need to enter the service menu and adjust a few items. But overall, this is a simple mod that makes a big difference, especially if you like to play the machine as loud as I do. Number 14, we're almost done. This one might not seem like it would be a big difference, but trust me, it is. This is the Invisiglass non-glare playfield glass. All I can say is the glass greatly reduces the glare from the DMD, the back box, or any overhead lighting that you might have in the room. The glass almost looks like it disappears once you install it. I will say this, I didn't install all of the mods to have all this awesome lighting to not be able to see them the best I could. So this one, to me, is a no-brainer. Number 15, you probably already noticed this, but I also installed the Stern Godzilla Art Blades. With all this awesome artwork done by Zombie Yeti all over this machine, why not complete the art package with these awesome art blades? They're actually very easy to install, and if you use the wet method, it is especially easy. I learned this after the fact and used the wet method on my Stranger Things, so I would highly recommend that, and it makes it so much easier to do. Anyhow, these look awesome and they just complete the overall look of the machine once they're installed. Before we wrap this video up, I have a couple of honorable mentions. I also installed some ramp and shooter lane artwork from Tilt Graphics. It just adds a cool look to the machine and it's pretty low cost mod, so why not? I also installed a simple ramp illumination light on the right ramp. Super easy to install and it adds a little light accent that I think looks pretty cool. All right, guys, that about wraps up this video. Something I forgot to mention, with the Invisiglass, you're gonna need to use a special glass cleaner. I'll have a link in the description. I have it around here somewhere, hold on. Pinheads Products Anti-Reflective Glass Cleaner. You can't use an ammonia-based cleaner on this invisible glass. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of the mods I did to this pinball machine. At least for me, I don't know, I feel like when you mod something and put some time and effort into it on top of just playing it, it kind of makes it a little bit more special. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I didn't do every mod. Actually, you know what? There's one mod I didn't, I didn't do. And uh, it came in the mail the other day. It's the Mazer Cannon mod. And I'll actually go grab it real quick so you can see it. Check this thing out. So this is the Mazer Cannon. This thing looks pretty awesome. So I'll be putting this on next. But anyways, guys, that's it. It's the end of the video. I will probably do other mod videos, but maybe I'll do them differently where I'll actually show you um, how to install these. They're mostly simple, but it's really daunting at first because when you open up a pinball machine, you're like, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff under here and wires and things like that. But once you get past the, I don't know, the scary part of it looking like it's a lot more difficult than it is, they're really not that bad to install. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Put your comments below. I want to hear from you. And that's it for now. We will see you on the next one.